What's going on guys? John with the Pro Cut and today I'm going to show you how to modify your mid-sized first gen rigid toolbox, the 22 inch Pro Organizer. I mentioned in my comparison video that this hole through here, the tools can sometimes, you know, pop out and fall down into there. So today I'm going to show you how to remedy that situation and I've cut a small patch out of a gear oil bottle that will fit in there and then I'm going to use a soldering iron to plastic weld that into position and then no longer will things be able to jump out of there because it'll be sealed off. So stick around and I'm going to show you how it's done. Like, comment, subscribe and smash that thumb button would you? Thanks. So once you have your patch piece cut out to size you can go ahead and lay that in there and then I've got a uh, Weller Thermal Boost TB100 and I got a blade tip on it and then you're just going to work your way around that edge fusing it together with the original tray and then that hole will be blocked off. So let's see if I've got this set up to where it's hot enough yet so we can get this going. I'll, I'm going to set you up on the tripod here. Make sure things are in view. All right, so then we just wanna, I'm gonna spin this around because part of this is lipped up. So I wanna start on the side that's not. And then you're just gonna said melt these two pieces together, forming a bond. Now I never knew how to plastic weld before, but I showed you in another video repairing the fuel tank on my RK24, and that's where I had taught myself how to plastic weld when I did that. It's fairly easy. You're just, like I said, melting the two plastics together to where they're fusing together. nothing too difficult and you're just going to work your way around the entire perimeter fusing them together any soldering iron will work the uh, of course not the heavy duty pull trigger ones i don't think that would work but any of these smaller soldering irons are gonna work for this project. Or you can buy an actual plastic welder as well. We've got them at Harbor Freight. You'll kind of get your own little rhythm and technique going. The blade tip works pretty good, but it's not necessary. A pointed tip will work just fine. All right, and now I've got that welded all the way around. And you can see from the top that it's solid across there now. And there's no need to weld on the top you can just because it'll look a little bit cleaner because you can see that the plastic welds aren't the prettiest I mean you could you could take your time and you, you can get them prettied up but it doesn't really matter so just like that you're ready to go and now nothing can fall down through there so it'll be a little bit uh, more user-friendly for you thanks for watching Again, like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one, bless you.